we are going to figure out what ordered pair is on y equals 5x plus 7. So what we have is uh, we have this linear equation, which actually has an infinite number of solutions on this graph. And to order to figure out what ordered pair is on this graph, you can make a table of values. And the good thing about the table of values is that you can sub in any x you'd like and figure out what y value you would get. And then you could have a whole list of ordered pairs. So you could sub in negative numbers, positive numbers, you could sub in fractions, whatever you'd like. So to make it easy, we'll sub in, let's go, we'll do a negative 2. So when you sub in, we're going to do 5 is 5 times negative 2 plus 7. That's negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3. So a point on that graph is going to be negative 2, negative 3. So if you'd like to see this graph, here would be negative 2, negative 3. That's a point on the graph. So there's one ordered pair, but the thing is there's infinite number of ordered pairs. So I could put zero in if I want. And so if you sub zero in, you are going to get zero plus seven is seven. So another point on the graph is zero comma seven, which is all the way up here. And again, there are infinite number of points. We'll just find one more. Let's substitute 1 in. So y equals 5 times 1 plus 7. So 5 plus 7 is 12. So 1 comma 12 is on that graph. I don't know if it's going to fit on my graph here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's all the way up here. So these are all points on this graph. And what will happen is when you connect these points, if I had a straight line, that would be good. That is the graph of that equation. And anytime you have an equation in that form, it's going to end up, the graph is going to be a line. And there's infinite number of points on that line. And here are a few ordered pairs uh, on that line. Okay, I hope that helps. Have a good day. Thank you.